Two political foes are now joining forces. Republican Jerry Mathis, who was vying against Democrat Angela also Brooks for the top job in the county, threw his support behind her. Mathis is the owner of a real estate firm in Fort Washington. He decided to endorse also Brooks for the county executive job after a chance meeting with her father, during which he found out both of them knew a lot of the same people. Mathis also believes that also Brooks has the right vision for the county. And I am thoroughly impressed, not only impressed, I am thoroughly, I, I believe, and I will do anything I can to help her. This is the leader that I have been waiting for. Well, of course, I thought I would be the leader, but I never really looked to be the leader. If I could ever find somebody that fit the vision that I had, I would step aside and give him my total support. I have found that person. This Angela will run this county the way I have had a vision, her vision, is to bring everybody to the table. You know what we've discovered? Who cares, Republican, Democrat, what we care about are the people that we represent. Um, and so in this moment, we are not focused on party affiliation. We're focused on Prince Georgians. Uh, the conversations that we have had have focused on that point, um, and we're ready to move forward. Uh, ready to move forward as two Prince Georgians uh, who have decided that we love this county and we have so much uh, belief in it and so many hopes and that's what we're going to focus on is how do we deliver for everyday Prince Georgians put together a team uh, and, and unite our county. Mathis's decision leaves the Prince George's Republican Party without a candidate for the county executive position. The party has until September 6th to pick a candidate for the race. The general election is on November 4th.